Here we go into another computer art and animation tutorial and what we're going to do today is go through using Pixlr to add some different filters and effects to photos and then stitch them together to create this little animation here using Google Photos. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is to choose a photo of your subject. So my particular example here was an example of Tony Hawk. So a skater or somebody doing an action uh, could be a musician. I'd actually worked on another previous example uh, in here that was this one was an image of Daft Punk. So it could be something like DJs or musicians or athletes in an action kind of position. Um, what I had chosen to start with on my newest one was going to be an image of a snowboarder. So let's go ahead where we'll get started in Pixlr. Make sure we're in Pixlr E. Uh, Want to create new. For this size, uh, I think again we're going to go with the square uh, 1080 1080. And what we'll do is call this one, um, we want to call it glitch. G L I T C H G. I F so glitch gif all right so it's kind of creating that kind of like flip through glitchy like effect where you're going through different filters or different um, images uh, or different ways of looking at an image okay so I got my canvas set here started I've got an image chosen of a snowboarder that I'm going to utilize for this one so I'm going to control click alt click um, to copy and then go to Command V or Control V to paste. Uh, gonna go ahead and enlarge this so it goes all the way outside the edges of the stage here. And click on Zoom Out to zoom out a little bit and check and make sure that I have that pretty good. And so, yeah, looks good. And um, so now I'm ready to get started with the filtering. So um, first thing actually I want to do is take this layer one. I'm going to drag it up above the photo image and I'm going to take what's called the marquee tool here, have it on rectangle um, and change the mode to add to selection. So what I'm going to do is just kind of create a bunch of rectangular uh, shapes over the top of this image. So put one coming out at the side, maybe one uh, like small one, uh, one coming from this way, you know, maybe a thicker one on the side over here. Again, just kind of random sort of rectangles to create a design that kind of goes over the top of your picture. So you can see I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so will do. Don't have to go too, too far um, over that. Um, once I have those all drawn, I'm going to take my paint bucket, my fill bucket, uh, tool, choose a color here from my color picker. Um, we're kind of want to do these like like a neon green color at first. We'll do, um, and let's see if I click in one, it's going to fill them all, and that's cool. But now what I can do is if I go back and change my color, I'm going to make it kind of this cyan or magenta-ish like color. Um, I can go back and now I can fill one at a time. So I'm just going to fill in a couple of these, this magenta e color. Uh, I'm going to go back to the color picker and do some that are more of a cyan -y like color. So we're trying to get those colors that would be the primary colors sort of in a um, you know, a computer generated image. And this looks pretty good. I kind of like the green. Um, I don't want to do too many of these blues because it's very similar blue actually, I realized to this blue of the background. So just that one there will do. Um, but the green, pink, blue, um, you can do other colors if you feel like you want to do other colors. But um, this will go through and we'll change the layer styles throughout a little bit. But this is all good. That's all we need to do for now. So let's hit Command D to get rid of our selection area. Um, and now what we're going to do is create a few duplicates of this image. Um, I think we're going to create four or maybe three. We want four total. So I'm going to click on these three dots and go to duplicate layer. So that creates a copy and then we're going to duplicate that again. Okay, so now we got image copy copy and then we're going to duplicate that one more time. Okay, so we should have four total here. So we've got our original, we've got the copy, we've got the copy, copy, and then copy, copy, copy. Okay, so now we're going to play with the different um, filters a little bit. So we'll take this top uh, one that we have, the copy, 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 and we'll go to filter, and then down to fringe. 
and here we can play with this fringe level. So you can see fringe kind of just like expands on the shapes and kind of makes them like colorful. So these, you can choose whichever way you want to go, but slide it all the way and then that's good. So now I'm going to make that one invisible. So click on this little box in the lower right hand corner. Now take this next image layer, we're going to go to filter again. This time we'll go down to, um, I want to say mosaic is the next one we want to pick. So for mosaic, we're going to expand this way up. You don't want to go all the way up because then you can't really see what you are working with. We want to kind of bring this slowly down till we can see the shape, like the general shape of what we were looking at in the image. So that looks pretty good. 73, you know, maybe if I come down just a little bit more to like 70, that seems good because I could still see like the shape, but it's abstracted, you know, and I'll hit apply. Cool. So now let's make this one again. We'll make this one invisible so we can see the um, one below it. And again, we're going to go back to our filter menu. We're going to add in another uh, filter here where we're going to go with halftone. Okay, so halftone is kind of cool, makes this like kind of pop arty type effect going on. Um, you can adjust this slider wherever you see fit. I mean, that's kind of cool, but not really quite the effect I think intended with halftone. You're trying to get these like dots that are kind of going all over. If you go all the way up, it's like very similar to the image. But we kind of want it sort of abstracted, so I kind of like these large dots that sort of start coming out here, you know, when I go to about 80-ish. Um, again, your image might be different, you know, with the level. Go with whatever level seems right for you, okay? Um, and then that one's good. So now I'm going to, again, make that go away. Um, and now I have my base, my regular, my image that I started with. And what I'm going to do to this one is I'm actually going to um, expand it as much as I can. I'm going to make this um, a little bit bigger here. Um, I know I'm running out of space if I zoom out. Yeah, I'm going to expand this so that he's way big and that he goes off the edges of the scene. So I want his like arm, leg, everything. It's all kind of touching the edges of my uh, stage area here. And then the other thing that I'm going to do to this layer, this image, is I'm going to go to Filter, one more time, Details, and then I'm going to go to Add Noise. All right, and so noise is just going to be kind of like grainy sort of like look to the picture. And I'm just, yeah, I'm going to turn that all the way up to 100. And then I'm going to hit Apply. Okay, so now basically what we have set up is pretty much everything we need for this little animation we're going to create. So um, we've got the four images, different filters, and then this layer with the drawings. And like I said, we're going to play with the layer style here a little bit. So if you click on the three dots, go to blend mode, um, and you can change the layer style. And what that does is kind of makes them blend with these pictures in different ways. So that's it for the art creating part. Um, and so we'll Take a quick break and uh, I'll start a new video for part two in creating this little animation with Google Photos.